few years back in the Virginia Young Democrats Convention, I purchased a t-shirt that I wear often. The front of the shirt asks, why am I a Democrat? The back answers, because I care about people. Democrats care about people. This was the message that got me involved in democratic politics in 2008. The speeches the President gave that year matched the message of the speech he gave at the 2004 Democratic National Convention, where he proclaimed that, it is the fundamental belief, I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, that makes this country work. He spoke of there not being separate Americas of us and them, but one America. And then he asked us, do we participate in a politics of cynicism, or do we participate in a politics of hope? In 2008, we chose hope over cynicism. We chose unity over divisiveness. Thirty years earlier, Harvey Milk, the first openly gay elected official in California, also spoke to the need for the politics of hope, saying, The anger and frustrations that some of us feel is because we are misunderstood. You have to give them hope. Hope for a better world. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope that all will be all right. Without hope. Not only the gays, but the black people, the seniors, the handicapped, the us's, the us's, will give up. You have to give them hope. People need hope. And Democrats care about people. In 2008, President Obama did not campaign on marriage equality. And when I started knocking on doors and making phone calls to support his campaign, I was not openly gay. In 2009, I finally came out and was also asked to become a part of a new caucus within the Democratic Party of Virginia, the LGBT caucus. In 2010, the LGBT caucus was granted a seat on the DPBA steering committee, giving the LGBT community a voice at the highest levels of the Democratic Party of Virginia. I've had the honor of representing the LGBT caucus at a meeting of that committee. In 2011, we helped our PAC raise over $21,000 for pro-equality Democrats to prevent a Republican takeover. Virginia Senate. This was also the year that the infamous law known as Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed, something that we worked hard with our Democrats in Congress to accomplish. In 2012, we saw President Obama embrace marriage equality, opening the door for Democratic leaders and candidates to campaign more openly on the issue. We organized the past resolutions at Democratic Congressional District Conventions and then at the 2012 Virginia Democratic State Convention, reaffirming support for marriage equality, and the addition of marriage equality to the Democratic platform. This created a massive wave of enthusiasm in the LGBT community to come out and support the President's re-election. In 2013, we forcefully supported Terry McAuliffe for Governor, Ralph Northam for Lieutenant Governor, and Mark Herring for Attorney General. All unequivocally supported marriage equality. After their election on behalf of the LGBT Democrats in Virginia, I dubbed them the most LGBT-friendly statewide leadership. Virginia history. Immediately after taking office, as you heard, Governor McAuliffe signed an executive order prohibiting discrimination in Virginia state government, including discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. Less than two months ago, as you also just heard, Attorney General Herring took the brave stance of not defending Virginia's ban on gay marriage, instead arguing on the side of marriage equality in Bostick versus Rainey. This case was only decided 33 days ago where the ban was found to be unconstitutional. Every step of the way, every moment of progress has increased hope among LGBT Virginians, their families, and their friends. In his second inaugural address, President Obama said, we the people declare today the most evident of truths, that all of us are created equal, guided our forebears through Seneca Falls, through Selma, and Stonewall. Just as it guided all those to hear a preacher say, that we cannot walk alone. To hear a king proclaim that our individual freedom is inextricably bound to the freedom of every soul on earth. Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. Fewer words have ever given me such hope. Hope that one day I can marry a man that I love in Virginia Beach where my parents were married, and in time for my grandparents to witness it. Marriage equality is not an abstract issue. 
It's personal. It's about people. It's about me, my friends, my family. It's about you. And it's about nobody being completely free and equal until everybody is completely free and equal. We've come a long way since I started in 2008, further than I could have imagined. But we still have work to do. Over this past week, it was made clear to me that those who matter most, those who volunteer, make the phone calls, knock on the doors, and give the party the strength it needs to win, are as committed as ever to the cause of marriage equality and equality for all people. The outpouring of support from people, LGBT people and straight allies from every corner of Virginia has been overwhelming. Because of this, I have hope. Why are we Democrats? Because we care about people. We fight for justice. We fight for equality. We provide hope for a better day together.